All right, y'all, it's about to get real. China has said that the U.S. citizens owning firearms is a serious problem that must change. <laughs> yeah, the communists. Stick by, watch this one. Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, your source for Second Amendment news. Now look, I'm going to say it straight out at the beginning of this. I am not one of those people who think we should stick our nose in other countries and tell them how they're supposed to do things, okay? I am someone who thinks that if we are called upon to assist, we're in a position of strength and power that we can assist those in need. Now with that said, other countries have no freaking place to tell us how we're supposed to live. Got it? So what I'm about to tell you stemmed from a two-day meeting that ended this past Friday. And that meeting was chaired by, uh, I'm going to butcher this name, and I apologize, but I'm going to try it, uh, Chairman Xi Jinping. It's X-I-J-I-N-P-I-N-G. I don't speak Chinese. I don't know how to pronounce it. Doing my best. I do know some Chinese folks who I am friendly with. I'm sure they'll correct me on that one. Uh, but this... Uh, person received a new title which translates loosely to the people's leader and from what i read it is a designation that directly echoes an alkylade most closely associated with communist china's founder mao zedong okay so chairman mao who many people know about in history this is kind of like their equivalent now now i'm going to read you word for word what came out of that meeting and i'm going to quote people where it needs to be quoted and you're going to feel the same enraged heat that I do, I'm sure of it. So China mocked the United States, saying that shootings, quote, shootings are shocking in the United States, allegedly governed by law, end quote. Now, it should be noted that China's verbal attack here on the Second Amendment has only come after the protesters in Hong Kong are requesting their own Second Amendment so that they can defend themselves from communists. See, because... The Chinese government isn't that friendly to the people who live there. This also, this next thing that I'm about to read you came out of that meeting as well, okay? And I quote, Private gun ownership is a tradition from the early days at the founding of the U.S. In a modern society, the problems created by this tradition have already exceeded the benefits. <laughs> yeah, behind every blade of grass. <laughs> I'll continue. American society has already seen serious problems caused by the private ownership of guns, but their massive number has contributed to an enormous inertia. Many interest groups have benefited from it, and some ordinary people have truly gained a sense of safety. Yep. To change this habit, which has lasted hundreds of years, tremendous political courage and rearrangement of interests is required. And you're giving us advice? Really? Communist China? Big Red? Really? And it continues, facts have proved that the U.S. system is unable to handle the intricacies of countless issues around guns, including politics, economics, law and order, and public psychology. The country can neither manage the safe storage and use of so many guns owned by ordinary people, nor can it establish a new national system that bans or strictly restricts guns. Wait a second. I'm coming back to that one. It cannot even form an overwhelming opinion regarding gun issues. Did China just say that they're actually involved or they know something about a plan or a new national system that bans guns? Hmm. Is China possibly behind the Michael Bloomberg funding? Is China possibly behind this gun grab that's going on? It's starting to make sense. Hmm. Reading that kind of like boiled my blood for obvious reasons. You watch this channel, you know how I feel about our rights. This is our country, all right? Uh, and I don't even like our government trying to tell us what to do. Uh, never mind some communist country that doesn't allow their people to Google stuff. However, someone here in America, in our elected body, stepped up and kind of told them what's up. Senator Ben Sass, or Sassy, he's from Nebraska, uh, he said this in a statement in direct response to Chairman Z. X I. He said, and I quote, if Chairman Z is the people's leader, who are the people? 
When Chairman Z talks about the people, he doesn't mean the people in torture camps. When Chairman Z talks about the people, he doesn't mean the Fulon Gong prisoners whose organs are harvested. When Chairman Z talks about the people, he doesn't mean the baby girls who were left to die under China's one-child policy. When Chairman Z talks about the people, he means what every communist hack before him has ever meant. Not the people, but the Communist Party. Also, I saw on the Daily Wire that China is under like an, an intense scrutiny right now because the communist nation has locked up millions of Muslims in concentration camps, are harvesting organs from these detainees, and not to mention it is one of the biggest uh, marketers worldwide of surveillance. <laughs> and they're going to tell us how we should hold our guns or own our guns? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Bounce. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo even got in on this this uh, little back and forth, and he uh, tweeted this. He said, From Tibet to Xinjiang, the Chinese Communist Party's repressive campaigns are not about combating terrorism. The CCP is attempting to erase its own citizens' faiths and cultures. All societies must respect and protect religious freedom. So this I ask of you, the viewer of this video. What do you think about... A communist nation not even well let's just take that out of it what do you think about another nation saying that a we have too many guns B it's a problem that must be cured and C refers to some new national system that bans or strictly regulates guns I want to hear it put it in the comment below and share this with at least at least five of your friends because this should make some good reading Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time. I hope you enjoy the news that I bring. And if you do, please hit the thumbs up, please share the video, and please subscribe to the channel. Until we see each other again, this is Jared from Guns and Gadgets. Be safe, stay vigilant, and carry your weapon, even though China doesn't want you to. Take care, everybody.